Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, just a reminder today we are Monday, March 29th, 2021. Um, a lot of people are having a hard time finding the uh, transmissions that they're listening to. Remember that the schedules changed yesterday. We are in the A21 season now. So all the schedules you're using online for the most part are probably not good right now. So you can't really rely on them to know if you're really listening to a station or not. Yes, some stations have kept their same frequencies, but a lot of them um, have actually changed. So I'll just show you, I use the HFCC list and it seems to be pretty accurate right now until your favorite website. But of course it's, you know, if you find EIBI space a little complex, the HFCC schedules are worse but they can help. So basically this is where you get them. I'll post a link to this page in the description below the video. You have a, a zip file here that you can download. Once you download this, it contains several entries, um, including by language, by site, and so on. But you also have the A21 all 00 file that's at the top here. Once you click on that, it opens up a text file that has by frequency all the stations that are broadcasting. So an example that I'll give you here is yesterday, I was listening to an English broadcast on 7375 at zero UTC, which I recognize immediately by the voice was Radio Romania, but let's say I didn't know it. Well, you've got the info here, 7375, zero, zero to zero one UT. Then you have the information of the uh, transmitter site and where it uh, is beaming. So Tiganesca, uh, here is ENG, so you knew it was English language, and here it says RRO, which is Radio Romania. So uh, you know the, if, that's the problem with uh, with uh, the website here is it's not necessarily super easy to understand it, all the abbreviations. Um, you know, like AGM, what's that? Well, that's actually technically VOA or something related to VOA. Um, and so, you know, it's not always easy to know exactly what you're listening to, but at least you can try to use what's here and try to understand what's in there. Uh, some are easy to understand, you know, for example, uh, ALG for Algeria and, uh, M MDG, you know, Mad Madagascar and so on. Uh, so, you know. Uh, NHK, Radio Japan, some are easy to find, RNZ, Radio New Zealand, some are easy really to understand, but there are some things in there that you're like, what is that, you know? Uh, but you can still use this list and try to find out what it could be that you're listening to if you want. I use the search feature, so if I'm listening to something on, say, uh, 15580, I'll just use the uh, Control F or Command F if you have a Mac, and type the frequency. So I'll type, um, you know, the frequency I'm listening to, which is going to be 15580, and then find that frequency. And then start checking uh, start checking what's uh, on those frequencies of 515580. Well, of course, the Voice of America is there. Uh, from Botswana Relay, for example, here. AGM now you know it could say VOA would have been more interesting but it's because it's related to the agency that's broadcasting uh, more than anything else so that's why um, it's not super clear all the time but at least there could be some help in here so if you want to check out um, the different broadcasts and where they come from on the frequency um, you, you'll know you know for example if I was listening yesterday to uh, English Voice of America around 18, 1830 UT. So 15580, 18 UTCs and uh, 1730 to 22. BOT for Botswana Relay and AGM being Voice of America, uh, the agency um, for global media, which is the uh, agency of uh, running Voice of America. Uh, so AGM will tell you that, well, that was VOA right here on uh, this frequency. Uh, broadcasting from Botswana Relay. So, you know, there are some help in there, but yep, it's not the easiest list to go through. They do have a list of abbreviations and understanding what it means, but uh, it's not always super easy, uh, like I said. But, you know, until you get the um, 
the real schedules that are easier to understand from your favorite website. It's your best uh, bet for identifying a website, uh, a website, a station that you're listening to. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.